Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hi friends, just a quick message. If you are enjoying the content of this channel and you think you would like to take the time to support me, anything is appreciated, even a dollar a month if you want to. Check out the link down below. Patron, thank you. Namaste and enjoy your meditation. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Try and be still and quiet so your body can relax. Your mind can let go of your day. Allow yourself to start to wind down and just chill out. Freya was in town and she was visiting the cats. She had one thing on her mind. Well, two things. One thing was she had a new puppy that she was super excited for the cats to meet that was called Roscoe. He was the cutest puppy ever. And the other thing on her mind was she wanted to go to cat club. Heidi said, well, we'd be happy to go to cat club with you. But Roscoe's a dog, not a cat. And dogs, even though Roscoe is super, super cute, is still a dog and they're not allowed in cat club. Cherry said, Well, maybe, just maybe, we could disguise him as a dog and then we could go to cat club. It's been such a long time since we've been to cat club and it's so much fun. And I know it's not your favouritest place, Heidi, but I love it there. I really love it there. I really, really, really love it there. It's so much fun and we've got so many cat friends there that hang out with us now. And you know, you know, I bet, I bet Cloud will be there and I bet Gerald will be there and it's just going to be awesome. We might even see Daisy. We've not seen Daisy for like the longest time. Come on, let's do it. Let's just somehow make this puppy look like a cat. I know what to do. I know what to do. We can stick like ribbons or a string or elastic band on its nose so it looks like it's got whiskers. And we can make it a tail, much longer than its tail. Uh, so it looks like a cat tail. And we could probably uh, somehow use sellotape to change the shape of its ears so its ears look just like cat ears rather than puppy ears. His ears are so cute. Anyway, yeah, we could do that. What do you think? Heidi said, Well, we can give it a try. Vea said, Maybe if we dress Roscoe like um, a princess cat, then there'll be less chance of people seeing that it's really a princess puppy. Um, maybe like a tiara. That could change the shape of of Roscoe's ears and maybe if we put like a tea to uh, a, a tutu on 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 Roscoe then no one would notice his puppy tail and maybe we could do that what me thinks that was a good idea don't you think Heidi said that's actually an awesome idea we'll go with that do you have a princess outfit that would fit Roscoe Vea Vea said hmm me thinks I do I have one that I grew out of quite a while ago. Let me go look for it. Vea went to look for the outfit. Cherry said, I'm so excited! Freya was very excited. I've been wanting to go to Cat Club for the longest time. And now that we're in town and I get to be with you guys and you get to meet Roscoe, I'm so excited. OMG, Cherry! Cherry said, OMG, Freya! They got the puppy ready. It took them a while, but they thought that the puppy would definitely pass for a cat. They went down the hill, around the hill, behind the hill, up over the hill, and got to the cat club. When they got inside the cat club, the music was blaring out. Freya looked around with big, wide open eyes, taking it all in as quickly as she could. The cats were doing all sorts of crazy stuff. They were playing cat games. One of the games that they were playing was like a climbing wall, which of course cats would be really good at. 
but this climbing wall was so super tall. It was at least like 50 feet tall. It was a new thing in the club and everybody was interested in it. Cherry said, OMG, look at that wall. Oh, we've got to do that. We've got to do that. We've got to climb that. I'm an awesome climber. I'll be really, really good at that. Can we go do that now? Can we go straight away? Heidi said, just a minute. Let's just look around, see who's here. They saw lots of their friends. Gerald was playing hide and seek with Daisy. Gerald was hiding under a table. Not just like you would normally hide under a table. He was hiding under a table, but he had his paws turn around the other way with his nails sticking out and he was clinging for dear life, actually stuck underneath the table. There was no way, no way anyone was going to find him. Daisy had been looking for him for two hours, she said. It was getting ridiculous. They got the normal chase the mouse. They got the dance floor still. Everything was the same except this new amazing climbing wall. Cherry just went straight for it. No one seemed to notice that Roscoe was a puppy. Everybody looked very cool about it. No one was sweating profusely. No one looked very, very nervous as if something was going on, that they were hiding something or ashamed of something. Everyone was doing very, very well. Freya had an idea later on in the night. She said, maybe Roscoe would like to meet Leo and Tucker. Heidi said, well, we just happen to know that there's a dog club not too far away. But how are three cats supposed to get into a dog club? Dog clubs are for dogs, said Heidi, just like cat clubs are for cats. Cherry thought that this was a challenge. You know what? You know what we could do? We could do exactly the opposite of what we did to Roscoe. We could dress like dogs. Somehow, don't you think, Vaya? Vaya was like, hmm, princess dogs. Yes, that's it. We could all dress like princess dogs. Somehow, uh, I don't know how, but we could maybe sell a tape as whiskers back so no one sees his whiskers. We could maybe like change the shape of his ears with uh, wool or cotton wool or some kind of socks. Maybe, maybe, you never know. Uh, maybe we could change the shape of our tail, just like, you know, elasticate it in half or something, like bend it and then wrap elastic band around it and, and it could look like a short, stumpy doggy tail instead of a long, glorious cat tail. You know, we could do stuff like that. I think this is an amazing idea, Freya. And I've not seen Leo and I've not seen Tucker for the longest time. And I know that they go to the dog club quite often. Well, Tucker loves the dog club, but Leo doesn't really like it at all. But Leo has to go because everywhere Tucker goes, Leo has to go, which is very annoying for poor Leo. But I bet you any money they'll be there. And if they're not there, we could call them and warn them and tell them that we're going to go because we have a very special friend in town, Freya. And, and Freya wants to see the dog club. Heidi said, just calm yourself down. Okay. Say goodbye to all your friends here in Cat Club. Have your last dance. Have your last wall climb. Let's get out of here. Go home. Change our disguises. And go to the dog club. That's exactly what they did. They did everything that Cherry suggested. And they were all really good ideas, actually. And by the time they were finished, with Freya's help and Roscoe the puppy's help, they actually looked like they could pass for dogs. Vea was practicing her bark. <coughs> Cherry said, no, you got to do it a lot lower than that. <coughs> <coughs> like that, she said. Vea looked at Cherry and said, Mies, wondering how you managed to do that. Cherry said, I have absolutely no idea. I think I must just be a natural dog. I think maybe in another life, at another time and place, somewhere I was an amazing dog. Somewhere out there in the world at one time, another lifetime ago, I could have been like a rock wilder. Oh, oh, oh. She was barking really, really deep. Heidi looked at her and said, that's an impressive bark. Mine's just like this. Freya said, you still sound like a dog. 
Don't worry about it, Heidi. They went to the dog club. This time, they went down a long path, down to the left, down to the right, up a hill, around the corner, down again, and found themselves at the dog club. The first thing that Freya noticed when they went inside was a completely different energy. Dog club was different, very different from cat club. They were playing music, which was awesome. They were actually playing Snoop Dogg, which she thought was very appropriate. And they had different games. In the dog club, they actually played a lot of chase. So there were balls and frisbees and all different things flying all over the place. And there were dogs just hampering and running and chasing. And it was a little bit crazy, a little bit overwhelming. Roscoe, the tiny puppy, kind of clung to Freya as if to say, don't let me go. Then not only do they play chase, they actually play tug of war. Because as you know, dogs like to pull and growl at things when you try and pull them out of their mouth. Tug of war was the bestest game ever for a dog. There was like 10 dogs lined up on one side, 10 dogs lined up on the other side, and there was a dog in the middle with his arm up saying, are we ready? Everyone knows the rules. Be gentlemen and ladies about this game. No cheating. When I count to three, one, two, three. And he waved a flag. And at that, both sides just started pulling and pulling and tugging and tugging and tugging with their teeth. And there was lots and lots and lots of growling going on. Cherry said, OMG, this is like the bestest thing ever. Has anybody seen Leo yet? Bea said, I've seen Leo. He's over there hiding under the table, scratching. Cherry said, I'm going to go find him. She went over to find Leo. Leo, what are you doing? Leo said, oh, I hate this place. I really don't like this place. It makes me scratch and come out in hives every time I come. It's too much dog fur, too much stuff going on, too much running around and chasing and it stresses me out. And when it stresses me out, I get hives. And when I get hives, I itch. And when I itch, I just get really nervous. And then I get really, really cautious. And and then, and then before you know it everything but every, everything's frightening me and then because I'm frightened and I'm really itchy then I just want to hide and I get really uncomfortable thinking everybody's watching me so I'm hiding under this table Cherry said oh uh, lovely well have you seen Tucker Leo said he's playing Tucker War can't you see him he's the fourth one along on the right Cherry squinted a little bit there's so much going on in dog club Look through all the crowds of dogs throwing balls back and forth underneath each other, over each other. There were frisbees flying all over the place and dogs like chasing laser beams on the walls. And it was just so hectic. She finally spotted Tucker. She went over and stood next to the line that was very active right now. They were going back and forth, growling. Tucker looked very intense and very scary. Cherry said, Wow, Tucker, you look really scary. Aren't you tired? Aren't you worried about your teeth falling out? Gosh, you look so intense. Chill out, Tucker. It's not the end of the world, you know. Tucker let go of the rope. I'm okay. Don't be silly. I'm totally fine. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing. Oh, Cherry. They lost. Tucker had let go of his place on the rope. And the other side was stronger and won the game. Cherry, don't do that. You distracted me in a a very vital, very vital moment. Look, now we've lost. But what can we do? What should we do now? What should we do now? Should we play frisbee, Cherry? Should we? Oh, you'll love it. Frisbee's ace. You just like throw the frisbee at me and I chase around and try and catch it with my mouth. Let's do that. Let's do that. Cherry said, oh, uh, that doesn't sound very much fun for me. All I'll be doing is throwing a frisbee. Who wants to stand and just keep throwing a frisbee? Oh, it's fun, it's fun, said Tucker. Cherry said, no, we've come with some friends. We've come with Freya and her new puppy, Roscoe. Do you want to meet Roscoe? He's really, really cute, Tucker said. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really like puppies, the love light. And Cherry, why are you dressed like that? And why do you have socks on your ears? Cherry said, 
It's dog club. We're supposed to be dogs, silly. We're dressed like dogs. Can't you tell? Tucker said. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even recognise you at first. But then as soon as you said, OMG, and started talking, I knew it were you. Okay, let me, let me come, let me come. And shall I, shall I get Leo to meet Roscoe? Oh, on second thoughts, no, because Leo's allergic to puppies. They went over to meet Roscoe. Roscoe and Tucker hit it off instantly. They rubbed noses and sniffed each other and licked each other. And Tucker said, he's like the cutest thing ever. Oh, but I really want to eat him because he's so small and he looks so tasty. And I really can't help myself with small dogs. You know what I'm like? You know what I'm like? Heidi stepped in front of Roscoe and said, no eating the puppy. Roscoe is out of bounds for snacks. Tucker said, oh, I know, I won't, I won't, I promise, I can control myself now, I really can. But he smells so tasty, and he's so sweet, and he looks so cute, I just want to nibble him and chew him, but I don't want to do He's so cute. Freya, Roscoe, Heidi, Cherry, Vea, Leo, and Tucker had the bestest time together. Eventually... Leo met Roscoe from a distance. Didn't look too impressed with him, but you know what Leo's like. He was too busy scratching his armpits. They had a good time. They played the dog games. They hung out. And then eventually, the puppy was exhausted and needed to go to bed. They went back to the house. Laid on the big bed, all of them together. Snuggled in, got comfortable, told stories to each other about the day. They all picked their favourite part. And then eventually they all fell to sleep. And had the bestest dreams about the cat club. And the dog club. The end.